I'm Bambi Francisco, and I'm here at the 2009 Semantic Technology Conference, and I'm speaking with Andrew Tompkins. He's the chief scientist of Yahoo Search. Andrew, thank you for joining me. Hi, Bambi. Great to be here. Now, semantic technology, really, at the end of the day, it's really uh, the purpose of uh, integrate this, integrating into Yahoo Search is really just to improve the search results. The search so experience, yeah. The search experience. So how has it improved the search experience? It's been pretty dramatic so far. So Yahoo's been very aggressive about pursuing semantic technology through a couple of programs. The, the primary one in terms of getting data in is something that we call Search Monkey. And so what we've been doing is developing a uh, set of vocabulary that publishers can use to uh, tell the world about the structure of their data. Mm -hmm. So if they're publishing information about a restaurant, there's a way to say, this is the name of the restaurant, here is reviews about the restaurant, this is the address, this is the phone number. If, okay. they're, if they're a profile page publishing information about a person, then there's standards to say this is the name of the person, this is all the relevant information. Wow. Are you getting any, uh, that seems like a tough, uh, tough, tall order to get publishers to actually start tagging and, and Yeah, so there's, um, there's, there's been a lot of question about what the right incentive structure is okay. to have people do this. Everybody understands the value in the long term sure. if everybody were to participate. Right. So what we're doing in Yahoo Search is we're putting in place a set of programs where if a publisher annotates the information, mm -hmm. then a bunch of new things start to happen in the search experience. Mm -hmm. So in some cases, we'll actually uh, feature that information directly in our web search results. Mm -hmm. So the result might have a picture mm -hmm. or it might have uh, an address or a phone number for a restaurant directly inlined into the results. And okay. it's, um, it, it's, it's a powerful way to present the data, mm -hmm. and it means that users are more likely to engage with it, mm -hmm. and it'll drive more traffic to the publisher. But these are publishers, like the coders of the publishing platforms that are actually having to put the, insert this stuff in the code, right? The publishing platform, well, so there's, there's, there's two things we do. One is that we, we allow the coders of the publishing platform to put it in the code right. in a way that it can be used by anybody. So we, we've been pushing this, but there's uptake from others like Google who okay. will also consume this data. So there's a there's a growing ecosystem of people who are ready for the How data. How many publishers are using this? So I, I would say we we don't have numbers on publishers, but um, but we do have some numbers on uh, what's happening in the actual search results themselves. Okay. So we, we have a set of, of partners where uh, results from those partners, we will, for all users, all the time, we will show a richer kind of presentation. So on Yahoo Search, that might be, you might search for a restaurant and get a result from, from, uh, from Yelp. You might get recipe data from Epicurious or uh, some media companies where we'll, we'll have more than just the, um, the two or three lines of, of text describing the result. Mm -hmm. We'll actually have embedded media. And we've been expanding that to include also for certain formats, um, we'll, we'll actually give you the ability to um, tell us about, say, a video that mm -hmm. is on, on your, your site or a, uh, a presentation or, a, or even a game. Okay. And you can play the game on the SERP. You can actually uh, read the PowerPoint presentation on the SERP. You can see the video on the, on the search results okay. page. So, so, uh, so that's uh, how you're improving the search experience? That's how we're improving the search through. experience. And we're seeing up to a 15% increase in click-through rate for these richer results, which mm -hmm. is enormous for us. 15% is, is something oh. that, we, that we never see. What was the click-through rate before, though, 0. 0.000? One. Well, no, no. These are <laughs> algorithmic search result click-throughs, so they, they tend to be pretty high, and then a 15% boost on top of that is, what a, are those click is a big deal. We won't talk about specifically what they are. Okay, two more questions. Yeah. Well, there's new players in the space, Wolfram Alpha as well as Bing, and so how does that, how do you position yourself against them, or how do they position against Yahoo? How, what, what's, how is Yahoo different from them? Well, so we see... Um, we see Bing released and going after kind of decision support capabilities, which are very important. We see Wolfram Alpha going after structured, structured data. And what we see at Yahoo is that these are, these are very important constituents to the puzzle, but the puzzle really is about 
task completion, understanding the user's intent, mm -hmm. and mapping that to the right tools to get things done. So at Yahoo, we're focused on um, what's the task, what's the user intent, and what can we do in the search experience to move you further down the path of where you're trying to get. So nobody's okay. really coming to a search engine looking to search. Right. Everybody's coming there because the end achievable thing, booking the vacation, getting right. the table at the restaurant, is the thing they're really going for. Right. So we're looking to put tools in place to make that possible. Okay. Last question. Uh, is The ultimate goal is to just get standards around the meaning of all this data. How far are we from that, and will we ever ultimately get there? I, I don't know if we'll ever ultimately get there. We've started. We've spent a lot of years trying to understand the, the right open standards, and that's been work that's been happening in a very broad community, and, and Yahoo um, has been playing the role of uh, adopter of those standards a, as well as, as uh, extending them into new domains. Mm -hmm. So when, when we uh, offer publishers the ability to give us a restaurant result, a recipe result, a product result, then in some cases we will need to work with the community to work out exactly the vocabulary to describe a product. Mm -hmm. you know, do you call it name or do you call it title and what does description mean and how, how do you include review information, uh, price versus sale price. So working out all the details of that is something that we're Still at the forefront on. of today. <laughs> and there's a lot more as we march down all of the different domains that we're going to need to really realize the vision. Okay. So we'll get there. We'll, we'll see a lot there. of changes. We haven't made any quantum leaps in semantic technology, but we're Someday we will. We will. Okay, thank you, Andrew. I've been speaking with Andrew Tompkins. He's the chief scientist at Yahoo Search. I'm Bambi Francisco.